In other news, the number of multicultural households in Korea is currently estimated to be over 266,000. It's a growing demographic, but one that is being let down by Korean society, according to a new government survey. Our Paul Yi reports. Some 15,000 multicultural families were surveyed nationwide by Korea's Ministry of Gender Equality and Family last July. Just over 41 percent said they had experienced social discrimination because of their ethnic background, which is an increase of nearly 5 percent from 2009. Respondents said they were most often discriminated at work, followed by stores, restaurants and banks, on the street or around their homes, and at public agencies such as police stations and schools. The study found that with employment of immigrants married to Korean spouses on the rise, so have cases of discrimination in the workplace. It's a growing issue that parents of multicultural students fear extends even into the classroom. Nearly 14 percent said raising and educating children was the most difficult part about living in Korea, with about 24 percent citing relationship issues between teachers and peers as a reason for dropping out of school. Loneliness was another significant complaint, with 21.7 percent of multicultural families feeling they have nobody to talk to when in difficult situations. That's a jump of about 6 percent from just three years ago. Over the past three years, the employment rate of married immigrant women has risen significantly from nearly 37 to 53 percent. However, the majority of jobs involve daily labor and poor work environments. Nevertheless, the annual government survey did show that the ratio of family separations among multicultural marriages spanning less than five years decreased by over 20 percent. Paul Yi, Arirang News.